Good morning, worshipers of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Minutes with Jesus. My name is Elizabeth, for those who don't know, and thank you so much for tuning in today. We are continuing Genesis chapter 30. I know it's been forever, like a whole month. I'm so sorry. I am back in New Jersey. The transition has been long. A long, long, long drive. Got a ticket. <laughs> And just so much unpacking to do, but it is nice to be in my first home. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue Genesis chapter 30. Continue keeping me in your prayers. Soon I will be in Africa. And yes, I cannot wait to tell you the beauty of what will happen there. God is going to do something awesome. And thank you all who have been supporting me financially. I really appreciate it. Like, I truly do. Let's pray. Jesus, as we read Genesis chapter 30, speak to us. Lord, please be all of all those that are going out in the mission field. Help those teams. Lord, be with those souls, Lord God. Jesus, give wisdom to those who work there. Jesus, that your truth, that your love will be preached. Thank you for your word, Jesus. Speak to us. We give you thanks. Amen. All right, let's get right on to it. Jacob's flock increased. After Rachel gave birth to Joseph, Jacob said to Laban, Send me on my way so that I can go back to my own hometown. Give me my wives and children for whom I have served you, and I will be on my way. You know how much work I've done for you. But Laban said to him, If I have found favor in your eyes, please stay. I have learned by divination. Whew, you know what that is. Evil spirits. Wicked. Calling on the devil. <laughs> it's like sorcery kind of stuff. But hey, even the demons fear the name of the Lord and tremble. And that's exactly what is happening here. I have learned by divination that the Lord has blessed me because of you, he added. Name your wages and I will pay them. Jacob said to him, You know how I have worked for you and how your livestock has bared under my care? The little you had before I came has increased greatly. And the Lord has blessed you wherever I've been. But now, when may I do something for my own household? He's basically saying, look, man, I've worked for you all my life. I've blessed you. And now it's time that I do something for me. Okay, what shall I give you? Laban asked. Don't give me anything, Jacob replied. But if you will do this one thing for me. I will go on tending your flock and watching over them. Let me go through all your flock today and remove from them every speckled or spotted sheep, every dark colored lamb, and every spotted or spot, speckless goat. Spock, speckled goat. They will be my wages, and my honesty will testify for me in the future. Whenever you check on the wages, you have paid me any goat in my possession that is not speckled or spotted or any lamb that is not dark colored will be considered stolen. Agreed, said Laban. <laughs> He's basically thinking, well, I just won this, you know, anyway. But it doesn't stop there. Okay. Let it be as you have said. That the same day he removed all the male goats that were striped or spotted, and all the speckled or spotted female goats, all that had white on them, and all the dark colored lambs, and he placed them in the care of his sons. Then he put a three day journey between himself and Jacob, and Jacob continued to tend the rest of Laban's flock. Jacob, however, took Fresh cut branches from popular almond and plain trees and made white stripes on them by peeling the bark and exposing the white inner wool 
of the branches. Then he placed the peeled branches in all the watering dolls so that they would be directly in front of the flock when they came to drink. When the flocks were in the heat and came to drink, they made it in front of the branches, and they bore young that were speckled or, or streaked or speckled or spotted. Jacob set apart the young of the flock by themselves, but made the rest face the streaked and dark-colored animals that belonged to Laban. Thus he made separate flocks for himself and did not put them with Laban's animals. However, the stronger females were in heat. Jacob would place the branches in the thaws in front of the animals so they would mate near the branches. But if the animals were weak, he would not place them there. So the weak animals went to Laban and the strong ones to Jacob. In this way, the man grew exceedingly prosperous and came to own large flock and female and male servants and camels and donkeys. Well, as you know, I'm a Jersey girl who lives in Texas, who's now back in Jersey. So I don't really know anything about farming except for breaking the ground because, hello, we are the gardening state of the world. Well, you know, of the states. Anyway. Um, so, honestly, I really don't understand why Jacob did this, you know, um, put branches in front of the wool of the sheep so that they can get spotted babies. Um, so I guess there's something about wool when, you know, the sun hits it and a branch hits it and, you know, there's... I don't know, maybe in that one area they get tan and the other area they don't get tan. I don't know. But something was going on there, but basically he outsmarted Laban in doing this, you know. Some would say, hey, that's kind of cheating. Others would say Laban kind of cheated, you know, when he tried to give him... Um, Leah instead of Rachel and then having her, him work a total of 14 years until he gets Rachel you know that is kind of you know you know I mean yes he gets Rachel after seven years right but then he ends up having to work another seven so he worked 14 years just to officially have Rachel, so, I don't know, Laban was a kind of slick kind of guy, he was kind of like a con man, so, hey, the con man just got conned, <laughs> anyway, what you sow you shall reap, so, basically, be wise, you know, always do things fairly, you know, do things under the wisdom of the Lord, because whatever you produce does come back to you, it does. It really does. All right, let's pray. Jesus, thank you so much for this successful Bible study. Jesus, continue being with all the people who are watching, Lord. Direct our steps. Direct us. Help us to be wise always. Help us to move on discernment, Jesus. And just continue protecting us, Lord, um, as the people on the mission fields are getting ready to go off. Just be with them, Lord. We give you thanks. Amen. Have a wonderful day, worshipers of Jesus Christ. It was wonderful talking to you. Bye.